Hello and welcome. Today we're going to move called the Mobius Flip. Here it is. That's the move. Here is a slow mo. All right, so to start this move off, what you're going to do, you're going to start off hanging on to the safe handle with your thumb about three quarters of the way up, your four fingers along the back of the knife. We're going to begin this move in the exact same way that we begin the orbit or the reverse thumb rollover. That'll be in the description. Definitely learn that first, but I'll go over kind of the quick steps. So after you've grabbed three quarters of the way up, four fingers along the back, what you're going to do is you're going to fling your wrist to fling out the bite handle just like so. And right after you fling it out, what you're going to do is you're kind of going to give a little bit of a twist and a drop to your hand. So fling out the bite handle. You can see I'm hanging out with a thumb on the top, index finger on the bottom, and I'm going to do a little bit of a twist, like so. So now my thumb is on the inside and my, the rest of my hand's on the outside. And what that'll do is it'll let me connect the bite handle with the, uh, my thumb right kind of in between my wrinkles and my uh, fingernail. So what that'll look like, something like this, three quarters of the way up, flinging out the bite handle, you're gonna do that little twist and connect. And immediately after connecting, you're gonna release with your bottom four fingers and the knife is going to rotate around your thumb. Again, this is the exact same as the orbit or reverse thumb rollover in a horizontal orientation, so learn that. Um, for this move specifically, immediately after you connect, you're going to want the angle to be not perfectly horizontal, but what I like to have it is maybe a, I don't know what kind of angle that is, 20 degree angle. So not like a 45, but like a 20 degree angle. So slightly angled um, upwards, just like so. And that's going to make the next part of this move a little bit easier, and I'll explain that in a moment. So, on the safe handle, you flip out the bite handle, it connects right in that spot. You're going to release with your four fingers. The angle is about, you know, that 20 degree angle or whatever this, this kind of thing is. And the knife is going to spin, and it's barely really going to spin it barely at all. So, the bite handle connects with your thumb, and you can see the bite handle is right about in this orientation. And I'm going to, the bite handle is going to rotate only about 90 degrees. So, it's going to rotate from, it used to be here, and now it is right about here. And as you can see, once it turns about 90 degrees, it's going to connect with the tips of my fingers. Now, a lot of people you see this move, they do it with their, they connect with their pinky. And I find that to be a little tricky. Your pinky is pretty short, so it's hard to get in the right place. And it's weak, um, and it's not the best. I find it a lot easier to get my ring finger um, right in the right spot to connect um, or even my middle finger actually works fine for me and so right from the top right safe handle flipping the knife around it connects with my thumb I release it's spinning around the bite handle spins about 90 degrees and connects with my ring finger and what's happened is immediately after it connects it's going to connect kind of in on a glancing blow sort of where it connects here and it's going to initiate a little bit of a rotation which is gonna cause the entire knife to spin like so, and the safe handle is gonna come around and drop into the open position, and you can hang onto the knife. So what that'll look like is something like this, flipping it around, connecting with the thumb, the bite handle connects here, it rotates and comes around just like so. So what you can do to start this move off, once you have all those pieces, you can kind of just practice that in a slow motion using two hands, right? I'm just going to guide the blade here. It's going to connect. It's going to rotate and come around just so you kind of get the feel of what is supposed to happen. Once you have that kind of feel, I'm going to go into some specific tips and tricks to kind of put it all together. All right. So now that you've kind of mastered or you understand how this move is supposed to work, right? You're hitting here, it's spinning around and it comes like this. I'm going to go into some specific tips and tricks. Tip number one, very important, master the orbit. So important, I said it three times. If you don't know the orbit, you're in for trouble. That'll be in the description. So tip number two, practice, practice, practice. Don't give up. This one is not going to work out right away. Um, probably, maybe it will. But um, you're going to have to fail a lot of times. Uh, but eventually, it'll just click. So you can expect that. Uh, tip number three, I'm going to go into more specific tips on the move. So... Um, one of the things that you're going to notice is when I'm doing this move and I'm throwing it out, 
you can see, you know, from the starting position, my fingers are kind of just like relaxed, my four fingers here with my hand, kind of relaxed in this open position, just like this. And that really doesn't change at all. So when I'm throwing out the knife, it is connecting here and coming around. My fingers kind of stay in the exact same spot. So something like that, you can kind of see they, maybe at the end they curl in a little bit just to make sure it catches, but basically they're staying in the same spot. This is different from the orbit, which hopefully you have mastered, where when you do the orbit, right, you're gonna do, you're gonna get your fingers out of the way, so that way the handle doesn't hit. And we want to erase, for this move specifically, we wanna erase that reflex from our minds. It's gonna require a little bit of willpower and intention. And the best thing that I can do is kind of my tip number three, is when you're first learning this move and practicing, keep your fingers relaxed, Think about keeping them in the exact same spot and doing this move and just don't even care what happens. Just let it hit your hand um, without moving it. So that might happen. That might happen. That might happen. Anything like that is totally fine. The key is that I just didn't move my four fingers and the knife, you know, I tr at least almost or mostly connected with those four fingers. Um, so just keep your hand relaxed. Just get it to hit. Anything remotely like this, you're totally on the right track. Um, so that's tip number three, relax those four fingers. Uh, tip number four is going to be a lot of tips. It's just general kind of things that can happen. So one of the things that can happen for sure is that you can just totally miss. So you don't even hit your hand at all. Um, there's a few different reasons for that. One is you could be moving your fingers out of the way just as a reflex. You just have to unlearn that. Another thing that can happen is if you're, you know, the rollover, your hand might be in the right place, but the rollover might be too horizontal, and so it just completely misses your hand. Um, that's definitely possible, and so all you have to do is aim a little bit more on an angle, something like this, so that way it connects with your hand. Another thing that can happen is um, there's two kind of parts to it, so that was a weird one. Let me see if I can get a different kind of weird one. So... A lot of the times things that can happen too is maybe something like that or I'm trying to get it so that way it doesn't even finish so the move doesn't even finish it kind of winds up perched on the top of your thumb usually in my experience that is from two things as well one is if you hit too low so if you're too vertical or maybe like 45 degrees you can do this move in a 45 degree angle and it actually looks pretty cool but a lot of the times what will happen is you're gonna do a full rotation you're gonna hit and it's gonna wind up closed or um, what will happen is you're going to do a rotation, it'll hit, but the angle will be wrong. It's not enough of a glancing horizontal kind of blow. And what that means is it's going to hit and you're either going to get stuck or it's going to come all the way around and wind up like this. So if you're getting stuck or it's winding up in the closed position, probably what is happening is that you're not kind of flat enough. You're probably throwing it out a little bit too vertical and you're going to wind up connecting with your thumb and it's not going to do that glancing blow and that spin. So those are kind of the two main things that can happen, but really this requires a lot of practice. You're going to want to throw it around and do your best to aim for that perfect kind of spot right about here at that perfect kind of angle. And eventually, every once in a while, right, you're going to get it so that way it connects and it does a little bit of a roll. You got to make sure you get the right power. It connects in the right spot. You're going to get stuff happening like that. One other quick tip that I can give you, which does help for learning this move, especially if you are kind of getting stuck on top of the thumb, is right after you do this and you're about to catch, right, it's spinning around, you can consciously drop your hand and catch the knife. And what that's going to allow you to do is kind of get over the hump of your thumb and make sure that this happens. So when you're first learning, there's really nothing wrong with that. It just looks a little different. You can kind of drop your hand to catch and that's going to make things a little bit smoother. I briefly mentioned it, but I realized I didn't actually even show it. A really cool variation of this one is kind of the more vertical variation. It's pretty hard to do perfectly vertical. It is possible. Usually you kind of do it on maybe like a more than a 45 degree angle slightly. Um, and the key for this one is you want to grab a little lower. That's going to give you a little bit more room. So a little lower than the fully horizontal one. And basically, you know, you just do the exact same thing and you wind up like this. And that's a kind of a cool, it's a little bit more of a vertical kind of orientation. So definitely play with that once you've mastered the horizontal one. A little bit harder, but it's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys like that one. Peace.